Hey guys, and welcome to another Overwatch video. I am Time is But a Window, and this is Train. This is not a normal map for us to watch. Usually, it's, well, it's Dust 2, but here we can see a guy is pushing down Ivy. You can definitely hear him. Sets up for him and takes him down. Ostrich goes down like an ostrich, just runs right by. Suspect's going to take down towards Ivy, doesn't see anyone. Throws a smoke on the right side, starts making his way over here towards the left. Now, keep in mind, this is the 15th round on the first half, and he's got 26 kills, 73% headshot percentage, one ace, very, very good stats. So right off the bat, we can say he's either smurfing or he may be using something, because usually, unless he's just getting really lucky, people don't have that good of a game. 73% headshot percentage is pretty impressive for anyone against anyone. So he's going to be sitting here in this corner. Looks like guys coming through connector. Two of them coming through connector. He throws a flashbang over. Set up for a guy. Here's footsteps. Takes out two guys. Leaves one. Seems to know exactly where he's at. He peeks out right towards him. Going to peek up top now. He does jump up to see if he can see him over the train, but he can't. That was a little suspicious when he peeked out towards him. It felt like he knew exactly where that third guy was going to be. He's going to make his way here towards Ivy. Looks like they're going inside, though. And the suspect's going to double back towards outside. Check here towards middle connector. He doesn't see anyone. There is a guy over by ladder in the ladder room. He comes around, he's able to take him down instantly. That also gives him the bomb, I believe. So now they're going to have to come down here towards him. He sets up, takes a couple shots, they seem to ignore the bomb, go straight after him and actually take him out. He's going to make his way over here again with the smoke in hand and throw it towards middle. Blocks off teammate with the smoke, throws a flashbang in there and pushes through. Guy is blind, he's able to take him out. Thinking Smurf at this point. Doesn't seem too suspicious. He doesn't seem to be aiming on people through walls. He's got really great awareness, but some people just have really good awareness in this case. His aim is definitely on point. But in the same regard, maybe he's just a lot better than these guys. We'll give it a couple more rounds and see if things change any. He's watching here towards the lower site. There is a guy that looks like he's going to be pushing through. The suspect's set up perfectly for it, but they end up taking outside and planning the bomb. So killed this guy in upper. He seemed to know he was there, probably because he was firing earlier. One guy over here to his left. Didn't know he's going to come out, and he actually comes out and takes him down. Can't say anything too suspicious about that. Suspect's got his smoke grenade in hand. He's coming up here towards lower B. Throws a smoke. And he's watching the upper ramp. Smoke's giving him pretty good cover from anyone that comes down from the bottom. He hears footsteps, aims on that guy, and takes him out. Again, nothing that really shows that he's cheating or anything like that. He's going to make his way back here towards outside now. Pretty much called for his entire team that there was no one in her after killing that first guy. Meanwhile, the terrorists have taken outside and he gets sideswiped. Again, completely caught off guard, so it does not look like he can see people through walls. As for an aimbot, if we look closely at his aim, it doesn't really seem like he's using anything. There are some cheats with pretty complicated aiming al algorithms so that it looks like it's natural aim rather than a weird quick snap. Uh, but in this case, there's a headshot. Did do a quick snap to the guy's face. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this guy is cheating? There's a guy. He's going to make his way over here towards the upper area of inside and it's kind of snapped over to him there it looked like either that or he saw him and he just kind of flicked his crosshair it's kind of hard to tell 
There, his crosshair kind of seems like it's locking onto heads. He is averaging an incredibly high headshot percentage. That being said, some people have really good aim. <laughs> Oh, his teammate takes him down. Well, the score is 13 to 7. Probably only two rounds left. Well, three rounds. I'm gonna make his way inner. Looks up top there, he doesn't see anyone. Whenever he's gonna push through. And it looks like he is. He's gonna come down ladder. There is a Molotov down there. It does three damage to him. Peeks out. Praise that that guy isn't able to connect with any shot. Did not see anything locking on there. Guy close to ladder gets taken out. Still watching towards middle to see if anyone else comes up. Smoke is sort of blocking him off really badly. Kind of see on that left side a little bit. And he's able to take that guy out. Again, no headshot there. A couple rounds before looked a little bit suspicious. Very quick flicks towards the head. As you can see, he's moving his mouse up and down really quickly. I assume that that is just trying to make himself more comfortable with his sensitivity. A lot of players will do that so that they feel a little bit more comfortable with their aim, especially when you're in the middle of a game and you're just not hitting the shots you normally hit. Okay, there's a griefing charge. And he's going to be watching down here. It's a 1v1 now that he's killed his teammate and he has 50 health. So let's see, he's going to go inside. He definitely heard him. He's hiding behind bomb train. He's going to smoke off the bomb. It looks like he's going to stick it. Another guy tries to spam it through the smoke but isn't able to connect. He comes out, he flicks over to the guy's head, he just kind of holds it down and takes him out. I don't see cheats. <laughs> I think he's just smurfing. That being said, it is quite a spectacular game, stat-wise for him. He's got almost 40 kills at this point. And only 22 rounds. So I will definitely post this and see what you guys think. Goes up the ladder for a second, makes his way back down. There's another guy above the ladder. Peeks up, he's able to shoot him in the body a bit. Guy out middle. He's kind of holding ladder room from a... Well, he's holding from the right wall, which is slightly an off angle. People don't usually expect it. That being said, if someone peeks around the corner correctly, they will probably see his gun barrel before he can see them. Now he's smoked off, but they do have control over the bomb, which means they're going to have to push into him. He throws a flashbang and pushes through the smoke. He's able to take out one guy completely blind. Good kill on that. As you can see, when he came out, he immediately checked to the right and then swung back to the left. Did not seem like he knew exactly where that guy was going to be. Yes, he did grief. He definitely shot that guy at the end of the round. Then we have external assistance. I don't think he was using any external assistance or automated jumping scripts. Insufficient on that. Vision assistance. Again, it didn't look like he really saw people through walls. He would always check things. He would, you know, come out looking to the right and recorrect back to the left. And as soon as he saw someone, he would take him out. So insufficient on that one. And the final one is aim assistance. And there were sections and parts that looked kind of very snappy with his aim. But honestly, he's probably just a pretty good aimer. These guys were probably a lot lower level than he was. It looked like he was a much better player than them. His aim was on point at parts and not on point in other parts. So a lot of people were thinking it could be a toggle, and it might be. But as of right now, I can't say it's evident beyond reasonable doubt. So insufficient on that. I hope you guys enjoyed.